Hello YouTube and welcome to another Game Dev Part 4. You can see that I have implemented the grappling hook and the ledge grab which is really fun to do in Unreal. I learned a lot from doing that and also the grappling hook was really fun to do. The animations, the character mechanics are missing right now and the reason for that is I also decided to remake the character. I'll talk about that later on. A couple more abilities I would like to put in the game are push, pull for interacting with the environment. I want to put the swimming navigation so you can go swim up and down left and right within a body of water. I like to implement ultimately a, a great uh, combat system which includes a dodge roll, grabbing the character, throwing the enemy characters, and a combination of movements. That would devastate the enemies. I need to do, I need to learn a lot more in the blueprints. Aside from that, I also work on the story this time around. I know that the story is very important, especially for an indie game like mine, which is I, I, I want the story to be as immersive as the gameplay even though it's gonna be in a 2d side scroller it's gonna be in hopefully an open world it's a metroidvania type of game so that means you can backtrack and you can go back to different places to unlock items and certain rooms you need to upgrade your abilities and whatnot i really worked on the story and i needed help on it so i got my cousin to help me out he's a good writer as well and he really helped me in directing my story in a certain way and i really thank him for that i'm intending to have the the demo for this game which i want to build out this year bare bones of it anyway so it's playable i want to have the backstory for the demo to be the, the prequel to the main game story but you'll see more of the game story as it as i progress and you'll see more of my videos revealing more of the story but uh, for now i'm working on it and it's really coming along also, I wanted to concentrate first of all on the character this time around and like I said, I'm remaking him and I've made him into a 3D character. I want to make him 3D character so that I can turn him into a 2D sprite. What I'm doing that right now is I'm modeling him in Maya and the model is done. All I got to do now is to rig it. Once the character is rigged, then the animation comes second. I really want to make sure that uh, I do this properly because character is a very important part of the game, especially for the feel of the character, the combat and everything. I'm doing this in 3D because I'm more comfortable in, as an animator and also as a modeler. Uh, 2D is, is something that I like to do, but uh, at the moment doing something and learning it at the same time while building and making a game, it's not ideal for me right now in terms of time. So I'd rather use what I know, which is 3D and build it all in 3D and then export it as a sprite and I feel like the reusability of that for the future if I decide that uh, this game will be 3D I can implement that quite seamlessly having a uh, 3D character already I want to save time and just go low polygon and once I once I have it rendered out in pixel form it looks nice and I have it as a bunch of frames and so I can put it into Photoshop and add small details into it like uh, like the fabric maybe flapping in the wind or I could do that in 3D as well but uh, the way I'm making the animation I want to have that same look and feel of uh, pixel art animation and so instead of using 20 frames for a hit attack for example I'm gonna use maybe a limited set amount of frames that way I'm really gonna be concentrating on the poses for the character the main poses is the key thing for me so that when I render it out and put it all together it's not necessarily have to has to flow like a traditional 3d like a 3d motion uh, fine-tuned motion it's gonna look like a pixel art animation and to do that the rig has to be done in a way which allows a lot of control in you know, the stretchiness of the of the limbs, exaggeration of the motion, and so I would like to put uh, a lot of squash and stretch on the character so I can control it more, even more. 
So once I have the animations done, I'm planning to touch up some Photoshop, like I said, and adding minor things. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for listening. Thanks, guys, for watching my video, and stay tuned for more progress of the game. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your mom and tell your dad. You will be witnessing the beginning of a failure or a success here on YouTube. You can laugh, cry, and you can all see the outcome of this.